Welcome to the tutorial on iteration and graph plotting in Ascend. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use for loop in Ascend, how to use arrays in our model, and how to plot graphs using Ascend. Here, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 12.04 and Ascend version 0.9.8 To follow this tutorial, user must have basic knowledge of Ascend. To know more about Ascend, please visit ascend4.org. This is the problem statement for this tutorial. Suppose we want to study the variation in mass of a thin walled cylindrical vessel with respect to its height to diameter ratio, that is, h to d ratio. The equation describing our system is the mass of the metal, metal mass is equal to density of the metal into volume of the wall. Let's look at the source code for this problem. We have two models in our file. The first model defines parameters that will be passed into second model. To know more on writing reusable models, refer to other lectures in this series. After defining the parameters, we define the required variables and equations. Then we write methods to solve them. Now we write our second model vessel plot. This model uses the previously defined parameters. We define the total number of data points that we want by defining variable n underscore entries. Thereafter, we declare two arrays h2d ratio and metal underscore mass. Now we start a for loop using which we pass the parameters of previous model in the new array v. Note that we assign values to the previously defined array h2d ratio under method values. Before moving any further, let us load the Ascend interface and run our program. Let me open our file which is of the name vessel plot. Let me load the model. Let me run the values method and solve it. As you can see that Ascend clearly indicates that H2D ratio and metal underscore mass are of the type array. To see the different values stored in an array, we just click on the drop down menu. This shows all the values stored in the array H2D ratio. Also, to see the value of the various parameters passed to the array V, we first click on the arrow next to it and then we can click on the arrow next to any of these numbers to see the required values. Let us now see how to plot graphs using SN. Let me minimize this window and open the source code. Firstly, we need to include a new library in our model. The name of the library is plot.a4l. To plot a graph in SN, we need to declare a variable of the type plt underscore plot underscore symbol. Here we define mass versus ratio as a variable of this type. This declaration requires two parameters namely curve set and curves. The curve set allows us to tag and identify each of the curves we plot. The second parameter curves requires three parameters, a set of integers, two list of data giving the y values and the x values for the curve. In our case, this set of integers is from 1 to 20 and the two arrays metal underscore mass and h2d ratio give the y values and the x values respectively. We give title and label for our plot under the method section. 
Let us now see how to get the required plot. Let us go back to the ascend interface. Let us go to the variable mass versus ratio. Right click on it and select the option plot. This gives us the required plot with the title and the labels that we had mentioned in the code. Let us now see what happens if we don't mention the plot title. Let us remove the line that defines the title for our plot. Let me save the file and reload it in the ascend interface. Let me again solve it and plot the graph again. As we can clearly see the ascend titles the plot as undefined. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned how to use for loop in ascent, how to use arrays in our model, and how to plot graphs in ascent. As an assignment to this tutorial, change the array size to 40 and reattempt the problem covered in this tutorial. Information on the Spoken Tutorial project is available on the internet. Workshops based on Spoken Tutorials are also available. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD. This is Tarun Gangwar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.